and the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Call me... Professor. You certainly demonstrated your intelligence. Professor it is. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful coming in or Some out. of the people you meet you will be institute replacements, synth duplicates, so be careful what you say. Can't wait to get out of this place. Gives me the creeps. Hey, mind if we talk now? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, it ain't anything bad. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True, but it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. The guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd use to keep people in line. Every so often he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. Was there no one who could have helped? Who knows? Maybe. Honestly, we were all so terrified we couldn't bring ourselves to move until it was over. Let alone get help. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware. Got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins. Started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. You don't actually think the clothes of John Hancock spoke to you, right? Nah, I, I just felt, you know, a connection. It seemed like he and I were dealing with the same shit. Serious oppression. So, the night of, we all got loaded, let Vic's boys get good and hammered, and burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to, but we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the statehouse. 
wrapped a rope around his neck, and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. And you're never gonna have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You wanna get moving? What Can't wait it? to get out of this place. Gives me the creeps. <clears throat> Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But, you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a... sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Don't they need you here? My job's mainly intel, so the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big beautiful distraction. Plenty of opportunities to learn secrets moving around in your shadow. Not right now. Well, if you change your mind. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Why is that a bad job? Runners at the bottom of the totem pole in the railroad. Just a hair above tourists. Being HQ's runner is a cut above field work, I suppose. Ah. Someone's got to do it. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Listen up, everyone. This is the Professor. He did the switchboard op with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. I'm getting tired of waiting. Got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. Glad you're with us. Ah. It's our newest agent. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. Desdemona. Based off what Deacon said, I expect great things from you. Excuse me. Hey, you. You the new heavy? Professor, right? What do you mean? A heavy. Someone able to take whatever shit the Institute and Commonwealth dishes out and come back for more. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? I didn't do it alone. But yeah, that's about the size of it. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. There's a lot to be said for ambushing enemies from the shadows. Oh no, another one? Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, 
We need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy at HQ. He went KIA after the Institute assholes took out the switchboard. With him gone, I've been running missions nonstop. So I'm damn happy you're here. They call me Glory, the Angel of Death, the ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. I like it. It's not to like. You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. Noted. You take care out there. Word is Diamond City is under opposition control. Bet you never met a synth before Glory. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What, you don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths and our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. He may have a good reason to be paranoid. Perhaps he does. And maybe he did the other dozen times he's made our agents jump through these unnecessary hoops. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Glad you signed on. Means I might get to take the occasional night off. I'm feeling overdue for some reconstructive surgery. Ooh, maybe I'll go blonde next time. I could use some fun. You gotta be careful, man. The Institute is everywhere. Hey there. The sensor sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. I went through a sensor sweep? Every test Des would let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you. Or us. But the tests lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Yeah, I've eaten food. Oh, 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 I knew it. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, 
That's a rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. That's a lot to process. Please, don't believe a word of this bollocks. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? What's in the shot? We got algae, some yummy bacteria culture, and just a little bit of battery acid. But, but we gotta burn those babies out of you. It's a hard reboot of your system, man. Hit me, Tom. Yeah, now you talking. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do, you do whatever. And come back and I will set you up. Oh, I feel awful. You trying to kill me? That feeling is the price of freedom, man. Live free. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. Commencing recurrence analysis using Debrovian method. Pam. Analyzing. Things are quiet for now. You got what it takes to go far with us. I can tell. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scab. Hey, Carrington. I still can't believe Dez assigned you to our HQ. Well, I did risk my neck to recover your prototype, be that as it may. Put simply, you shouldn't be here. It isn't a question of competence, it's a simple matter of security. And I'm going to compromise your security... how? Deacon's assurances aside, we don't know you. So your trustworthiness is up for discussion. Brushing that aside, before anyone joins HQ, they've usually spent years in the field. But you, you're dangerously ignorant of our procedures, our protocols. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. I'll probably have to take you up on that more than I'd like. With you and Glory both, I'm sure I'll be kept gainfully employed. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. You're obviously one of the smartest people here. What do you really mean by that? No one doubts Desdemona is uh, inspirational. But let's just say strategy may not be her forte. Is Desdemona really a problem, then? Not so much that, as there are perhaps better solutions. When planning a mission, a certain degree of clinical detachment can be invaluable. Provided by someone like you. As the third senior most member of our organization, I do have the honor of participating in the planning of our missions. But my counsel is not always heeded. Focus on the objective. Everything else is just a distraction. Good luck.
Supposed to do that? Probably arthritis. Inflammation in the joints combined with the pressure in the air is causing painful friction. No, right. Um, let me just give you some painkillers. Just take one every few hours. Thanks, Doc. Welcome back. Looking to trade? Not today. Your loss. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Particularly with such delicate goods at hand. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. Cozy. You're not with my caravan, so don't bother me.
gets fired. So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a Mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual. Hey. Shoot. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Your thoughts? Everyone should get to live life on their own terms. That's what Good Neighbor's all about. Served us well so far. That's all for now. Gotcha. Take whatever you can. I'll keep watch.
everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Easy there. Don't shoot, Professor, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. More raiders, not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You're mine now, rookie. You can trust me. Asshole, just give up. Bad move. Ah! Safe phase two. We gotta keep moving. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. So, is this a normal operation? More than I'd like. Sometimes I can sneak our friends through all by my lonesome. But other times it's like the damn raiders are holding a convention. 
Working with you made it a whole lot easier. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. Should have run. Time to collect. Tom wants you for something. All right. Now be careful with that gun. Real careful. What? <laughs> Why, Tinker? Because the ammo should have some real oomph to it. Me and the boys been working on it. Tiny little package, but a hell of a big kick. Is it safe? Uh, you say safe? Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I mean, well, uh, uh, probably. The math looks tight. Whoa! Terry? Where's Terry? Too much nitroglycerin. Back to the drawing board. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the big war. Who set off the first A-bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. Give me details. So my sensor, I call a Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? I'll take good care of Mila. She's got a lot of sensitive components. So be gentle, all right? I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. We're all the sense God. If you need something, take it. That's what it's there for. Desdemona. This isn't the railroad's darkest hour. We will make it through.
Use the back entrance. Too much traffic for the church and the Burns Highway. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. At least not soon. The H-222 situation appears to have been resolved satisfactorily. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. The safe houses are in trouble too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkimer and Allen safe houses are both confirmed kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. I'll get it done. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. <laughs> <laughs>